week's Parts Plus Motorsports Moment, we're going to give you guys a little idea of what happens after I back up from the burnout. Get a lot of questions about this because you see the Parts Plus team just kind of attack the engine while it's sitting there running after I back up from the burnout. Mike is going to kind of take you step by step. We got some of the guys here that are going to show you what they do and answer some of those questions. What are they doing when you back up from the burnout? And Mike's going to let you know. Hi everybody. When Clay backs up from the burnout, the very first thing that we need to do is remove the throttle stop. We have a throttle stop on the throttle cable so that it's more difficult to over rev the engine. Um, it's a safety thing. Um, our throttle stop we don't actually hit because Clay's pretty good at doing the burnout. And you watch Clay, he does the best dragster burnouts of anybody in the category. After the throttle stop is off, then all of the crew, the two crewmen will stand beside the engine. They're completely 100% focused on the engine's idle speed. So they have knobs on the side of the injector that they can, that they can open and that they can close and that will control the engine's RPM. We're able to see that on the dashboard in the cockpit. So you'll see the crew guys, they'll be focused on the cockpit. I'll be observing everything that's happening. My primary focus is to watch the way the engine's running. I trust the guys are gonna have the idle set exactly right. Clay's constantly monitoring fuel pressure and fuel flow. When the car comes back from the burnout, then I will take a look at the headers. I'll look at the exhaust pipes to see how the engine's running. If the engine looks like it's heating up and the pipes are not quite as wet, then I might rich in the engine and vice versa. If the engine looks really wet and rich, I might lean the engine down a little bit right before we pull into stage to warm up the cylinders just a tiny bit or cool them down if they appear to be a little bit warm. Then I will set the idle screw like we've shown you in a previous segment where we'll turn the idle screw up to the full rich launch position and then you'll see me give my favorite sign. Move her <laughs> on in, Clay. <laughs> and at that point, the car is completely mine. You know, whatever happens from that point forward, 100% in my control, sometimes good, sometimes bad. But more than anything, we appreciate you guys tuning in to another Parts Plus Motorsports Moment.